Hello, this once again is your ancient artifact, and this time around I'm bringing you my very first real small, albeit humble PC fan comparison, including tested noise levels. This comparison also happens to be the perfect opportunity to check out the new Be Quiet Lightwings 120mm fans. These sport fancy ARGB lighting and should not only impress in terms of quality, but as the brand name would suggest, also convince when it comes down to low noise levels. We may or may not encounter a little surprise in today's small comparison. The price, needless to say, plays a big role in that. These light wings, the standard 120mm version of it, currently go for about 27 US dollars the piece. Every single one of those fans that I have access to will be tested with an amount of 3 mounted onto a 360mm radiator. Before we move on though, I'd quickly like to introduce the other candidates joining the race, namely the Deepcool CF120 Plus fans, the Enermax Qua RGB, the Enermax HF120 ARGB in white, the Enermax TB Silence Advanced, and for a bit of a reference point, Be Quiet's own Pure Wings 2 fans that come included with one of their more recent AIO liquid coolers. So you've surely noticed the comparison is fairly Enermax heavy. That's because I happen to have the most fans lying around by that brand. Now if today's fan comparison video is doing well, I might consider doing such videos more often in the future and extend the list of tested fans. Alright, now that's enough talking. Included with the Be Quiet Lightwings fans is a pretty standard manual and screws, besides the fan itself that is. First of all, I'd like to address the build quality, which does in fact appear to be on a very high level. The frame is thick and robust, and even rubber pads come into play, helping eliminate vibration noise. Be Quiet is going with a four-pole fan motor and opted for the so-called rifle bearing, which according to the manufacturer should last about 60,000 hours of operation. Furthermore, great focus has been put onto the noise level, which certainly has to be an important factor for a brand going with the name of Be Quiet. A single fan therefore should apparently only reach up to 20.6 decibels at max, which is impressively low. The static pressure of 1.66 isn't the best, however, probably not the best idea to slap such a fan onto radiators then, but that doesn't always have to apply. What shouldn't go unnoticed is the fancy ARGB lighting with that nicely illuminated ring on both sides. It's just a shame that it's just the ring lighting up and not the fan blades themselves too. Who knows, maybe Be Quiet will extend their lineup and offer such a fan series as well in the future. I would very much welcome it. I have some great news regarding connectivity, since there's no proprietary stuff to be found on here. We get those standard conventional universal 3-pin 5V ARGB connectors with both female and male connectors, making daisy chaining a lot more convenient. Now is the perfect time to introduce my test system and my testing methodology. All these fans will be mounted onto the Be Quiet Pure Loop 360mm AIO liquid cooler, or rather its radiator. The CPU to cool is going by the name of Ryzen 9 5950X by AMD. The processor is socketed onto my ASRock X570PG Velocita motherboard. How will I be testing? First I'll read out the cooling performance at max fan speeds. While at it, I will also measure the noise level with my decibel meter. Once that test is all done, we are getting to part 2 of the test, and that's with the fans being fixed at a noise level of exactly 40 decibels. Following that I'm going to read out what influence that has on the CPU temperature at the exact identical noise levels. I would also like to point out that within the BIOS I have taken measures to prevent any automatic major CPU clock speed or voltage fluctuations, so we don't introduce any unwanted variables, such would render a test like this useless. So let's cut to the chase. The following are my test results. This took me hours and hours to complete, since a single test run lasts over 20 minutes.
think it's best to start off with the noise levels. By a huge margin, today's Lightwings fans by Be Quiet, without a doubt, take the clear lead in that department. With only 43 decibels measured, that's quite the impressive result, and that is, at max RPM, let's not forget that, three pieces of such fans. Significantly louder on the other hand, are those Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 fans coming included with the Pure Loop AIO liquid cooler. The loudest out of the bunch on my list were those CF120 Plus by Deepcool. Still to be fair though, when having those Pure Wings 2 fans run at their max rated fan speed, they deliver the best cooling performance on the list. In the most extreme scenario, the CPU paired with those Lightwings models ran a whole 2 degrees warmer. Not that big of a deal, but it is a difference. But here's where things change. When setting all fans to run at the same measured noise level of 40 decibels, those light wings catapult themselves to the very top immediately. Closely followed by the Enermax TB Silence Advanced and Deepcool CF120 Plus fans though. The Pure Wings 2 performed the worst in that aspect, and there's a good reason for it. The fan speed had to be reduced by quite a lot to get down from 56 decibels to 40. Whereas for the Lightwings fans, it has only been a small jump from 43 to 40 decibels. Long story short, when it comes down to temperatures at max fan speeds, it's not that big of a deal what fan you end up going with. Once you start introducing the performance to noise ratio, however, things take a dramatic turn. I certainly would have loved having a few fan models by Noctua on the list, but I didn't happen to have any of such lying around for now. So as far as the fans I've tested today are concerned, the Be Quiet Lightwings models, without the slightest doubt, appear to offer the best overall balance. You pretty much get the best of both worlds, cooling performance and low noise levels. At a price of $27 a piece, I guess we're looking at fair pricing, which is why I can certainly recommend picking these fans up. As far as quality is concerned in the long term, only time will tell. With that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this slightly limited comparison, and as always, thank you so much for watching.